Hey guys, welcome back to Foreign Reacts. Today I'll be checking out a video titled A Survival Guide to the... No, it doesn't say the... It says A Survival Guide to Dutch Food. So we're going to be checking out that video. It's a two minute video. So um, we're just going to jump right into that video. I do want to say I'll be moving to Europe and I finally released my first video of the um, series of me moving to Europe. So um, there will be a link at the top of the description to go subscribe to that channel and also social media, stuff like that will be at the top of the comment section, I should say. And you guys can easily just click that link and you guys can see the uh, video. So thank you guys very much for the love and support. I appreciate it all. And uh, I just want to say that uh, we should do this reaction video now. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's what I needed to say. But um, let's get right into the video, guys. <laughs> Although evidence of Dutch exploration and colonization can be seen across the globe, Dutch cuisine never really seems to have caught on. <laughs> Dutch tonight, honey, or a great new Dutch. <laughs> Y'all notice how I'm not petty and I'm not salty over the the little joke he just made. A lot of people would have said that's you know what word, but yeah, I find that is a great humor right there. This place just open up downtown. Let's check it out aren't exactly phrases you hear very often. No, never heard that before. Ever. Never heard this that before. This is because right? Dutch food is, by most accounts, bland. A little surprising, as the Dutch East Indies Trading Company traded mostly in spice. But right. apparently, like any good business-based culture, the Dutch don't get high on their own supply. <laughs> Survival tip. Bring your own spice. The Dutch are a simple and pragmatic people, and this is obvious when looking at their culinary techniques. They either A, mash the hell out of something, B, boil the life out of something, fry. or C, deep fry <laughs> the shit out of something. <laughs> the first two methods are both used to create the long-standing staple of the Dutch diet, stamp pot. Potatoes I, and I veggies mashed together, smoked sausages on the side. No, 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 no. What are we talking about? This is good food right here. This is good food right here. Put that on my plate. I'm eating it. That is good food right there. I don't care what nobody wants to say. That is good food right there. What you talking about? That's good food right there. That's good food. Gosh. In gravy. Voila. A perfect mm. storm of Dutch cuisine. Dang. Some critics fault the Dutch kitchen for lacking variety. But that's just not true. What about the Zorkel stamp pot? Or the Andaibi stamp pot? Or the Wortel stamp pot? See? Variety! <laughs> That's it! No, that cannot be the end of the video. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. But whatever, man. Whatever. It's, it, it's whatever. That's the end of the video. Whatever. Gosh. Gosh. But it, it's good food. I would eat it. That that's amazing. If I ever visit the Netherlands, I gotta get that. I gotta get that because that's good food. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot too. Mixed with the veggie, and you smash that thing up. Like I like that. I like that. I like it. I do like it. I like it a lot. I've said that too many too many times. This was a short video, bro. Like what? Either ways, we gotta get out of here. It was short and uh, spicy. Well, spicy less. It was kind of spicy though. But yeah. Huh. Weird, but whatever, guys. I'm out of here, guys. Peace. <laughs>